What's up guys, it's your girl Glenn Lefferson here, back at it again with the back at it again. Today, yes, this hair is looking crazy, it's looking atrocious. We are going to be doing a wash day with me. I've never did one of these um, in the shower, I've done one before, but I never did one in the shower. So today we're using the Aunt Jackie's Oh So Clean Shampoo and the Herbal Essence Hydrate Me Conditioner. So yes, I love to, um, before I started washing my hair, I did put some leave-in conditioner in my hair, like the day before, so that's why it's like so good. I don't know, this was just a good wash day, it wasn't bad at all. But yeah, I just wish my hair could stay like this, like, for, like all the time. Like, why does it have to freaking shrink up and be dry and all that other stuff? But yeah, so here I'm just detangling my hair. I did put that um, leave-in conditioner the day before, so it is... You know, so that it was easier when I took out my braids. Because I didn't wash my hair since January. And it's like the end of February. So, yeah. And you guys see me taking out some of the knots right here with the wide tooth comb. If you're going to, like, well, when you're washing your hair, you want to make sure you have, like, the wide tooth comb with you in the shower. So, now I'm putting the shampoo in. Y'all, this is, like, the best shampoo that I've used in a minute. Like, this shampoo is popping. Because not only is it just a shampoo, but it's moisturizing. Is moisturizing as hell like it was more moisturizing and soft on my hair than the actual shampoo I should have just got the shampoo but natural hair shampoo um, I mean I should have got the conditioner in this but natural hair conditioner bottles and shampoo bottles be so damn small and skinny and it'd be so much money but yeah but um, I'm gonna definitely get the uh, shampoo the conditioner to go with the shampoo I really love this shampoo so much. This was like an easy day as hell. Like, but look how long my hair is, y'all. Look how long. Like, it's just growing and growing. And y'all know what? I like to do the protective styling. I like to just wear my wigs, braid my hair up, wear my wigs. Mainly all year round, but I I always be getting like um box braids sometimes. Maybe like twice a year, something like that. But yeah, y'all. Okay, so this is after I washed the shampoo out and it just felt so good and it was just so uh, I love that shampoo y'all need to get that damn Aunt Jackie's oh so clean honey oh so clean now I'm using the herbal essence conditioner I use this on my weaves too my virgin hair um but yeah this is the kind of conditioner that works on my hair all, all products don't really work on my hair so whatever does I try to um, continue to get that so yeah I'm just rubbing this all over my hair I'm not gonna show the whole process because it's gonna be repetitive but I like to just you know use the conditioner all over my hair and my hair takes a while to get wet so I have to like put a whole bunch of product and then I um, detangle and then wash it out so guys now right here I am using the cream of nature mango and shea butter um the same leave-in conditioner i'm just gonna put just a little bit of that all over my hair before i start blow drying and straightening okay so yeah my hair is definitely growing and i like that i just want it to be super super long like i'm actually tired of like this shrinkage which is annoying a little bit because i want to see my length like i don't want to just see it when i stretch it i want to see it all the time but i am starting to see it though like my puff it's getting super, super big, so that's good. Oh, and I did put a black rinse on my hair um, afterwards. I didn't show that, but I did put a black rinse on top of the conditioner, and I let it sit for 40 minutes. 
and then I washed it out because my hair is not naturally black like this it's like a brown oh and I am gonna clip my ends right here as you guys can see I clip my ends and I know I did it real like cringy but I just was trying to cut out a lot of the brown that I had from dyeing my hair so yeah y'all plus my ends they need to be clipped like ASAP they need to be clipped and I know I didn't do it like properly, but I did it for the time being. I just, I just did what I had to do. I didn't clip that much, but I did clip some. Okay, so right here I am blow drying my hair. I did recently just buy this shit, this dryer, blow dryer. I had another one, but I left it at my mom's house when I moved, so. Um, yeah, like, so I just, I'm just using this one for now, and this one is not that good, it don't get that hot, and I was just mad because I was trying to, like, blow dry it, and I didn't have the proper brush either, so, like, I always struggle with the back of my hair, so, <laughs> I was trying my best to get it, like, uh, straightened, because, guys, the reason why I was doing this is because, one, it was wash day, I had to wash my hair anyway, because I'm about to do a ponytail, I got a ponytail um, from Janet Collection that I'm going to be doing and I need to wash my hair and get it as manageable as possible because I don't want to put too much gel in my hair so I want to like be able to like put it in a ponytail with, without too much fight you know without too much of the hassle plus I also wanted to do a length check because I really need to see I want to see how long my hair is and stuff so that's why I'm doing this. I'm straightening it. Other than that, I don't really like to blow dry my hair at all. I don't really like to put heat on it at all. So, um, that's the only reason why I'm doing that right now. So, right here, guys, I am doing my good old, <laughs> my good old flat iron. Um, I did do a review on this flat iron. If you guys want to see that, I'll leave the link to the description box this is a Duval um, flat iron and it flat iron is pretty good like I think I passed it through the hair a few times and it still didn't get it as straight as I wanted it to but hey it's gonna have to do it's gonna have to do y'all the shrinkage is really real like this shit is crazy Like, look at the left side of my hair and then the right side. Like, that's crazy. And it was a struggle doing it by myself. But, you know, you gotta have patience when you're doing this. It's good to let somebody else get the back. Like, oh, Lord. You guys saw me wash my hair, condition my hair, 
blow dry my hair. I didn't want to make this video too long, so I didn't show every little step, but I did put a black rinse in my hair. I don't know if you guys can see that. But y'all, this is the straightest that I could get it. I don't know if it's getting a little frizzy now, but this is the straightest I could get my hair, honey. Cause, um, I, yeah, yeah. This is the straightest I could get it, period. Okay, this is the straightest I could get it. And um, honestly guys, I did this because I needed to wash my hair and um, I'm gonna be doing a ponytail um, hairstyle. So I wanna make this as less work for me as possible. So I said, you know, I need to straighten my hair, get my hair a little bit, um, you know, straightened so that it can easily go up in a ponytail with no problem or not too much fight, okay? So yes, and I honestly wanted to do a length check, but clearly I can't get my damn hair, I can't get my hair still pressed. And as you guys saw, I did cut my ends, because they needed to be cut. So I definitely want to go next month to the Dominicans and let them give me a washing set and blow dry it. So that I can, um, I want my hair to be nice and flowy, honey. I might even let them cut it some more. But this is how it's looking after wash day. So let's see where my hair is. Ugh. My hair is like here. Okay, so it's like bra strap. It's like bra strap length. Can you guys see that? Yes. It's like bra strap length. It's like that one piece that's super long. But I definitely love how healthy my hair is growing, which is good. Um, if you guys are here from my dye my hair video, I dyed my hair two years ago. Was it two years ago? Yep, I dyed my hair two years ago in 2018 around this time. And I recently just cut off a little bit of like the brown part that was still there. So I'm loving how healthy my hair is. Edges could be a little bit thicker, but I'm loving how healthy my hair is. So stiff. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm gonna definitely do like a come with me to the beauty salon or whatever, so you guys can see them doing my hair with me or whatever. But not yet, probably in March or April. I'll let you guys know. But yes, guys, that was how I do my hair. Honestly, those are not the the main products that I use but um that's what I bought recently and that's what I do I'm like a lazy a lazy natural so I just use what's on sale but works for my hair so I have a variety of products that works for my hair type if you guys want to know my hair type um, I did a video on it different parts of my head is um, different hair types so the back is like a 4B a ish and then the front is like a 4BC-ish. So, yes, honey, yes, yes. Or vice versa. Like the front is more of a 4B, 4A, and the back is more of a 4, I don't freaking know. But anyway, yes, y'all, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See ya in the next video. Hey, hey, bye.